Hello and welcome to a new episode from the Lake Lao Guy server. Woohoo! It's time for some vanilla Minecraft again. And uh, we are over here at Magoo's and mine Blaze Farm. Or, well, not ours, it's public, but we built it uh, a few episodes ago and. Um, yeah, get over to Magoo's channel, by the way. That guy is pumping out massive projects one after the other. It's really great to follow that series. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'd suggest after you've finished watching this video, get over there and watch his videos. And, yeah, why am I here? Because I need blaze rods, obviously. And why do I need them? Because today I finally want to build a furnace area, an automatic smelter at our base. So let's get over there. And here it is, our nice little base. A little something has changed. We have now this beacon outside again. And down there, uh, we only have two cows left, all the rest, like uh, the farmland and pumpkins, melons, sugarcane, house, ship is gone. And uh, yeah, we are now completely up top, except for those two. But uh, something else you can see here is I am using vanilla tweaks from Exuma now. And I gotta say that water texture is just beautiful. Let's get over to the river. Have a look at that. Look at that. That I'm speechless. That is so beautiful. That is really the best Minecraft water texture I have seen so far. And I also decided to take the side textures for grass and uh, for mycelium and potzel, I believe, as well. Some sound changes are also included, like this. Oh man, that really. Ooh, ah. Mm, you can hear the bones crackling away when you fall down. <laughs> that hurts, really. Uh, the paintings I will remove again. I don't like them too much. They are nice pictures, but uh, I don't want to have all Exuma in my base like x-rayed and stuff uh, even though I'm a big fan of Exuma but uh, yeah no need for these pix picture pictures Ooh, words hello something different that is new uh, this area yeah I dug out this area for uh, stuff like the furnace array that doesn't um, really have a place up top so uh, there wouldn't be enough space in the uh, topmost layer of this house. Um, there is now, for now, the enchanting uh, table we have. And by the way, we should really get on enchanting. And I thought maybe we can do this as kind of a library. So I put down some of the bookshelves I had and uh, yeah, maybe we can put in chests around here with all the types of books and um, yeah, then we would have a nice little stash of uh, enchanted books. But down here there will be stuff like a sugarcane farm, um, a micro farm to get uh, uh, stuff like carrots or potatoes. And uh, I also want to put the furnace array down here, as I mentioned. Uh, but first, we need to finish getting this pretty. 
So, I will be right back. I am over at spawn at the moment, uh, because I grabbed some iron from the iron farms we have over here. And I thought I'd bring it back in to show you our new lanterns we have here. Beacons. Beacons are our lanterns over at spawn town. That is a little bit crazy, I gotta be honest, <laughs> uh, but HKMKR, uh, she's currently online, uh, she came up with that idea and uh, yeah, it really looks amazing. It shows off the wealth of our server and uh, why is the door open here? No baddies? No baddies. That is good. Let's get out again. Ah, okay. <laughs> Let's get over to the base again. Back at the base now. This room is finished uh, in terms of flooring, ceiling, walls. Now comes the fun part. Putting in the machines yeah, let's call them machines. And I decided to go for the smelter with a design for ROM cup fan. And that uses uh, minecarts to pick the stuff out of the furnaces and into the furnaces. But also a load of hoppers. So we have a hopper minecart basically running below the furnaces picking out the stuff and two minecart chests uh, that have either the items that should be smelted in there or the fuel and they run over tracks uh, that are on hoppers. So for that uh, yeah I have to see where do we want the input around here I want to have uh, the input and I think yeah the easiest part is actually just putting down the rails and we have to go along here along this wall and uh, on top of those in the back we will put a block and on top of those there will be furnaces. Oh, and I don't have enough. But uh, yeah, along here will be the furnaces. And here will then be uh, the output chest for the minecart, the hopper minecart that is running below. Above that, uh, now here are coming hoppers that are pointing in the back side. And. Oh, and uh, on into the top of the furnace and this gives uh, that inputs the item that is to be smelted and this inputs the fuel. Alright uh, so yeah let me quickly put down the necessary hoppers and then I'll bring you right back. All the necessary hoppers are in now so we can start laying down the rails, the powered rails on top of the hopper line and uh, there is this pretty annoying bug in Minecraft with the rails. Not that minecarts would be any better but uh, yeah and um, you see here I first laid down the lower track uh, and uh, then the upper one. Let's see what happens uh, when we do it like this. Oh that works as well. Then maybe it's the direction I'm facing east, uh, east west. And now we have to power these uh, so let's find a good spot or Better, let's find two good spots. Let's take uh, this one and uh, this one. And I need from my redstone shulker box some levers. And there they are. So let's 
put one here and activate that put one here activate that and let's have a look yes that looks uh, like all of them are activated is it also here in the case yes all are activated very good so now we have to come out uh, three blocks I believe here and here and then we have to go one up uh, each oh this is difficult to reach uh, so here one up here one up and uh, remove uh, this block and uh, oh no not this one derp <laughs> this one only all right and um, then we have to get up there again and I had to quickly check the tutorial again so here it is uh, the following we uh, go two normal rails one powered and the same on this line two normal one powered and uh, I'm hitting just my head so we have to go around here and on this now we can put down a lever and that activates both of these uh, uh, rails and uh, that is then the activation for the input lines of our uh, smeltery and um, from there we can now put a hopper into here and now the input line for our uh, mm, that's not good hmm I think I have to go one up or I have to lower the whole floor here Ooh. I lowered this part of the room now by one block and this should fit now a lot nicer so let's get up here and then grab the hoppers put one here and on top of this hopper there is supposed to be a chest and this is the input chest for the fuel and uh, then let's grab this minecart with a chest put it there for the items that are to be smelted and put another one there which are uh, uh, which will distribute uh, the items for uh, the fuel so in our, our case of uh, blaze rods yeah okay so now the only thing that is left to do is uh, the uh, let's maybe test this first <laughs> so yeah you can see they are both running let's flick that lever off again and they are stopping again so that's uh, the way we want it we can reach the chests easily and now the last thing that is missing is the output so we need one double chest in this area here and a hopper that is leading into this double chest and on top of that hopper we will put a powered rail and now we want the minecart to stop every time when it has items in there and uh, for that uh, do I have yes I have some comparators so uh, that is fairly easy you just need to put down this get yourself a little bit up so you can work and then take a comparator read from the hopper Put another block in uh, the back here and a uh, redstone torch here in the back with a block on top uh, yeah you 
maybe also already know that from the string farm we did a while back. I uh, showed that I think there as well. It's the same principle and that with only uh, on one tick uh, the repeater pointing into that block activating uh, this hopper. So when we now put something in the hopper that is flowing down into this chest, the comparator is activated, the redstone torch is turned off because this block is now powered and this repeater gets no power anymore and can't power this powered rail. Power! Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that is basically it and uh, now our 60 stone bricks are uh, processed and we can actually put down the last thing that is missing. Ooh, I see this and notice we still need to power our powered rails uh, that are down here. Power once more and I uh, accidentally touched that. Oh, uh, let me get over here and here and then let's put down that and uh, this. Let's get down a little bit more and flick that lever. And to be honest, we don't really need any more uh, any fancy blocks in the back here. And then let's go here and do the same. And da -da -da -da! let's give this a push. And we can also put a lever here. So this minecart uh, will stop the next time it comes up to the top here. So uh, this is basically a switcher between the XP mode. So we grab manually the stuff out that we want uh, or that we smelted and get the XP. For example, when we smelted iron or something else. Or uh, we get a, a activate it, deactivate the lever, and then this works, and uh, the minecart grabs all the things. Nice! So we only need to build a little casing for this now. Well, it's not the prettiest of all things. A little bit much of the stone brick variety. Uh, but for now that should suffice and uh, let's also quickly go up and grab our fuel we got earlier. So in there, here, yes, thank you. And do I have something? I could smell a little bit of sand to get glass. So let's grab that and I unlocked new recipes uh, because we are now in 1.12 actually. All right, put that there, put that in here and let's get them off. And the first one isn't getting any items. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, no, it's just blocked. <laughs> Whoops, that was my mistake. Uh, yeah, also put in this trim here from uh, the top. Let's stop them when they come back. Aha, it was working. And uh, we have to actually go up when we have uh, when we want to put in the items. And let's activate the output. Oh, I have to 
turn that around. <laughs> the automatic output is actually on now. And yeah, very nice, very nice. Ha! So cool that this is working now. Uh, we can switch that off. But on to other things. Uh, first, I want to grab this book. Uh, I found that recently and noticed, ooh, we still have one free job from Sin, uh, from his landscaping emporium. And I thought, hmm, what could we give him to do? What possibly, maybe? Hmm. Yes, I'd like Sin to uh, actually do the landscaping around here. You know, uh, I want to have a nice little path from here to up there and uh, from the item, not item elevator, from the minecart elevator to up here and also um, around here there is still a lot of coarse dirt and uh, yeah I bet he can come up with a lot of nice stuff. Also this needs uh, quite some fixing <laughs> because I just put out um, or yeah put out a platform here to put my house on but never actually cared about making the mountain again so fixing the mountain again so yeah um, I hope he is up for that I will put uh, down a little text for him that explains what I what I'd like from him and uh, yeah then we get over to the shopping district a little bit of something has been written and let's read that I wrote to him, I am in need of sin. The landscape on the top of my mountain needs some sinning love. Besides pathways from the nether portal ship and the minecart elevator, there is also a bit of the mountain missing. Uh, the side thing there. And trees are also a bit of a rarity. If you would be so kind to help me out, that would be wonderful. Kindest of regards, Para. And I signed it with help is needed. All right, uh, let's get to sleeping. And then um, we will quickly check some other place uh, before we head to the shopping district. Huh? Do you remember this place? Wow, isn't it looking awesome, especially with this a uh, new water texture. Ooh, yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> I already forgot how it looked uh, in first person, so to say. Oh man, this is really, really a great place. Great, great place. Ah, yeah. Uh, by the way, there is uh, actually a fix from Tango for these farms from El Mango, uh, so that you can leave the chunks without uh, the farm breaking. And maybe I will put that fix in. Oh man, that sound! Uh, we'll put that uh, fix in at some point. Um. But not today. I actually just wanted to grab some glowstone and I don't have another, not nether chest, and chest. Dang it. All right, I'll be grabbing some materials so we can put those back in the shopping district and then we will be heading back. And here it is, uh, the nice um, shopping district. Oh, and we actually made a diamond and we have here offered redstone dust. Okay, so let's convert uh, convert that all <laughs> into 
dust again. And then we have redstone lamps. Oh, we actually made some more sin bling. <laughs> Oh. And glowstone lamps. One stack for a diamond. And then let's get over there to Sin's nice little landscaping emporium. <laughs> and uh, you have to walk through this nice little curtain of veins. And in here, who paid with stone? Quote request and uh, I think we just put our things in the chest so Sin there is something for you waiting all right so uh, we have this nice little shop here our uh, wool shop and I mentioned I think in the last episode that I actually want to yeah um, make this public make not uh, this specifically public but uh, the string farm and the sheep farm um, and that is what we will do now so let me get over there and uh, yeah so this will then be redundant so I will be grabbing all the wool that is still in here and transfer it over to the sheep farm and uh, then I'll bring you back oh, and uh, because we are sharing our wealth from the chests over there with the noobs I will leave his payment in here and also symbling <laughs> and oh Jesus that sound is ah, torturing with this video I want to just announce that this is all public now and <clears throat> maybe yeah I also have to put this all in uh, yeah so I will be working here piece by piece uh, but it's free to use and no need to go into the shopping district anymore and pay for what is free and with that said I want to end this episode I'm out of time for this one hope you enjoyed it let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are and uh, yeah I hope to see you in the next one until then I wish you a super great time and say bye bye